on you headbangers welcome back to the channel today we are going to be looking at one of my favorite bands these guys are known as Kardashev a lot of you must have known these guys they're not even a new band on the channel reacted to these guys a couple of times fucking amazing band I love these guys a lot um, these guys recently released their album liminal rights and we are gonna be checking out two songs from that album uh, the first song that we are going to be looking at is Compost Grave and the second one is Apparitions in Candlelight. I am so excited for this one. Um, Kardashev is a band that I really, really love. These guys are fucking sick. Pioneers of the genre, Death Gaze, and they're signed to Metal Blade Records. Um, so guys, let's start off with the first song. The first one that we're going to be checking out is apparitions in candlelight i'm so excited guys and i can't wait to jump right into this one so guys without further ado let's quickly do this one out of count of three two one shoot oh fuck damn that intro shit fuck The drum lock, man. Fucking fast. I love how the drummer fucking kicks that pedals. Oh, oh cleans. Fuck. We already know how Mark is good on vocals, so I don't even need to talk about his vocals at all in here. We all know how fucking good Mark is on vocals, really. Mark is fucking phenomenal. Always an exception. Oh, damn. I'm fucking impressed with the drumming in here, man. Too fast. Come on! Oh, fuck! That ambience, man. That ambience. That ambience, man. That background ambience. Holy shit! Emotionally driven, for real. Come on, guys. Bring it on. I know you got more. You kind of slowed it down in here. Hmm. I like the switch. Hmm. Nice, nice. The introduction of that bass in there, nice. Nice. One thing I love about this band is the room that they allow for every band members to display their musical skills. Really fascinating. I mean, nobody's left out. You, you, you get to see the drummer doing his work. You know, the guitar is doing his work. The bassist also allowed to do his work. And alongside, you know, Mark's vocals, like everything all complementing each other well. Very, very beautiful. Very beautiful. I really love this style. Oh, come on. 
Fuck! I love how these guys are able to maintain the melody despite the lens. Like they can hold the lens so well and yet make it more melodic. Now you don't even like lose track of how beautiful and melodic it is. You're not even concerned about the lens. Like it just keeps you hooked into the song right to the end. I really love these guys for, for you know their musical skills, honestly speaking. Wow guys, this track is an epitome of beauty, holy shit, melodic to the core, very, very melodic. I love everything about this song and I am so glad that I, I got to be alive to witness, you know, the birth of this genre called Dead Gaze. These guys are really an exception to the metal, you know, scene really amazing band i really love these guys this guy's creativity is something that you cannot go off without noticing i love the ambience man everything in this song is just an atom of beautiful ambience holy shit really lovely really lovely let me just dive right to the pros and cons quickly on the pros i just want to commend mark's vocals everybody knows how mark mark you know uh, is a standout when it comes to his vocals, and this guy just never disappoints at all. Honestly, I just love how Mark is able to influence his vocal range to the point that, you know, it all just comes out so well. You know, to be honest, being able to switch your vocal range from, you know, the gutturals to the cleans is one of the hardest things to do, and, you know, maintaining that progression and rhythm. And this guy does it so fucking well. And it is just a standout for real. Like you can tell that it is not forced or jerky or you know, um like fainty or something. Like it's just all natural. This guy is so so good and is like is really trained his vocals to be one of the best in the world for real. And I love how this guy is just, you know. A standout when it comes to you know metal vocalist out there pro number two i must admit that the instrumentals was a standout i really love the instrumentals um i love the harmony between the guitars and the bass you know like both of them just you know complementing each other so well that you know uh they produce you know such beautiful masterpiece whenever they're called upon um and it's most especially the drumming. Holy shit. The drumming is like the focal points in this whole song. Like from the beginning to the end. I, I just love that, you know, fast paced, you know, uh, drumming style from the drummer. Like everything was just so on point, you know, the fast paced coupled with the kicks. Like you can hear the old pedals coming out so well, complementing, you know, the fast paced drumming. 
like holy shit it was like the drummer was on drugs honestly speaking a guy is so fucking good on drums damn I, I i really i really love the drum work in here man that was like the main thing that i put all of my focus in when listening to the song like the drum work the drum work was something that i could not help but notice and um that's wonderful really wonderful i i love i love these guys a lot honestly speaking i love how everybody in the band is allowed to shine you know everybody in the band is allowed to you know do what they're good at you know and that's something that i really love and really really find you know uh fascinating um anyways guys uh moving on to the next song um well before i move on to the next song i already talked on the pros on the cons i have no cons at all on this one this is just beautiful very very beautiful and this song is going to get a rating of 9.2 from me uh we move on to the next song the next song is compost grave song um let's see how this one is going to sound like um out count of three two one let's do this Yeah, instrumentalist there, man. Oh, come on. Oh shit, like an helicopter sound, fuck. I love the chance there, man. break oh, <laughs> holy fuck damn 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 that was catchy as fuck holy shit <laughs> I wasn't expecting that at all. Like, oh my god. Come on, let's listen on. Oh, I love the chorus, man. I fucking love the chorus. I like the background scream as well. Yeah, come on, Mark. Be your magic. Max vocal diversity is something else, man.
Oh, come on. Let's go, baby. Woo! Wow, wow. I guess that's the end. Ah. Oh. Wow, that was awesome. Very beautiful song and very intense as well. I love the song a lot. Um, <clears throat> so let me go straight to the pros and cons on this one. Uh, on the pros, I I love, you know, the vocals. The vocals was intense, very, very intense. I like the diversity, you know, in the vocals. Uh, Mark used like about four to five vocal style in this, one, in this song. Um, and you can tell, you know, how, you know, the vocals just, you know, uh, keep coming in at the same time, you know, but in different styles. And I love that. I love that a lot, especially the chorus part, you know, where he sang in cleans and then, you know, he, he also implemented the, the, the screaming vocals as well, like everything all coming in at the same time. Um, I, I, I must admit that's a very beautiful mastery in production. Very, very lovely one. Um, I like the creativity with the chorus in there. And I like, you know, the unpredictability to the chorus. Like, that break, when, when they stopped in that break before the chorus hit, um, I was expecting them to, like, you know, uh, switch to another verse. But then they just brought in the chorus and they brought it in a way that I wasn't even expecting at all. Like, it just... Hit so hard and melodic at the same time, and no wonder I, I just exclaimed, you know, uh, in in that manner. To be honest, like, holy shit, I couldn't help my exp um, exclamation in there, man. Like, I just couldn't help it. I couldn't help it at all. Um, I love how you know these guys are very very unpredictable when it comes to you know the way they switch their verses. Uh, that is something that I really love. Uh, these guys are one band that is very, very hardworking, especially with the genre dead gaze. Like they, this is a genre that you know um, infuses a lot of you know uh, genres in it, and so uh, these guys take their time to you know uh, put in all of these elements to you know make up the song. Uh, and you can tell from this, you know, song that there, there were black elements, uh, black metal elements, I mean to say. There were also death metal elements as well as deathcore elements. Like everything was just, you know, inside the song, you know, making the song a very, very good song. I really love the song a lot, um, especially the chorus. The chorus was very beautiful, very, very beautiful. Um, this is something that would definitely go on to my playlist. Both songs that we reacted on today, they were very, very beautiful songs. I love the songs a lot. But um, I still kind of prefer uh, this the first one that we checked out, which is um, Operations and Candlelight. I still kind of prefer Operations and Candlelight to Compost Grave song. Um, but both songs were beautiful. Very, very exquisite. Um, if I'm gonna give this song a rating, uh, this song is gonna get a rating of 8.5 from me. Uh, a very beautiful song that you know I'd urge you guys to also check out at your leisure. Um, if you don't know Carter Chef, this is your first time, you know, coming across this band. Um, I'm gonna make sure that the links are in the description so you can, you know, do well to check out these guys and check out, you know, the songs. Uh, you can start with a new album that he just dropped, Living All Rights, or you can also. Um, Check out their older stuff. Uh, they got an EP, you know, that they dropped around 2020, they're about um, The Burning of Shadows. You can also check that one out. And, you know, some of their older stuff as well. So, guys, this brings the end of today's video. Thank you guys so much for tuning into the channel. I really appreciate you all. Um, if you are uh, someone who's just, you know, watching my video for the first time and you love this video, I appreciate you taking your time to click that subscribe button. And, you know, turning on post notifications and, you know, sharing my videos with your friends. You know, you know that, you know, love heavy metal music so they can as well subscribe to the channel. It will really help the channel grow. And um, if you are even an old viewer, I mean, you've been watching my videos for a while, but you've not, 
you know, subscribed yet, I'd appreciate you clicking the subscribe button and also doing the same thing to, you know, turning on post notifications to get notified on every new videos that I drop. So, guys, I'm going to be running off now. I'll see you guys in my next video. Have a lovely day, guys. Stay blessed. Stay safe. Stay meta. Peace. I think it's always in my heart There must be something